This video was made by Muhammad Amin Ganjabi and narrated by Nidu Faris Kandari from Hyper Lyceum team. We're here to give you a brief introduction to Simufact software. Simufact welding is a high-performance, finite element-based software to simulate the welding processes. One of the most significant features of the software is the ability to predict the stress and distortion created during and after the welding and unclamping processes. Most manufacturing companies rely on analytical and experimental results to design and weld the components in which a simufact comes in handy. In this video, I'll go over every module and explain some of the software features. Now we'll move to the software. To make a new model, you can click on File, New Project, and name it Welded. Welded is just a name for the project. Here we select the directory that is Folder E, Apply, and OK. Here, a window is opened. This window provides the welding features in the simulation. For the process type option, you can choose all the arc welding processes such as MIG, MAG, TAG, Submerge, and combined methods like Plasma Keyhole and Laser Hybrid. We also have all the beam processes, laser beam and electron beam welding, and all the brazing processes, resistance spot welding process, stress relief heat treatment process, and simple cooling and clamping process. If you want to change the ambient temperature, you could choose this option. You can use the gravity as well if you need it. The symmetric plane is useful for both mechanical and thermal boundary conditions. You can define the number of components here. Next, we have bearing, fixing, and clamping, which are for boundary conditions. They constrain the geometry for welding process. In fact, there are several criteria to constrain the structures. We use bearing and clamping if the component can slightly move and if we want to fix it from all the directions, we use fixing. We'll move to the local joints. This feature mimics the joints for the TAG welds and spot welds for holding the component in a specific area. For robots, they are used to simulate the heat source and material deposition. Okay, this is the main toolbar that is located for general applications. There are icons such as save, open, and etc. This one is for opening the model, and this one is for saving the model, and this one is for showing it. This area is Explorer, which shows all the defined features of the processes as a tree-like module and explains the process of the simulation. The next area is a catalog, where all the required and crucial data, including geometries, materials, temperatures, trajectories, welding parameters, stress relief, and sets are first stored here. Click on Geometries, right-click, Select Import and choose the file Fillet to PDF. If you're interested, you can download the video and file from our website hyperlyceum.com. To define the model unit, go through the length and define your unit, which is millimeter in this video. This window is called Model Visualization. The software provides an outstanding graphic video of the current model, enabling the user to pen zoom and rotate using the mouse. Using these icons helps to change the view and rotating and inspecting if different angles is possible by right click. This area is process property. A brief explanation of the model is presented using numbers and parameters. This section shows the solver configuration, simulation time, and mesh properties like the number of node elements and components in use. Now let's check the next area, which is the control and status bar. Through this bar, the user controls the simulation. It contains the start and stop button and simulation progress bar. To open the setting window, click on Extract, then on Setting. 
A new window will be opened, allowing you to modify all the essential options of your project. Select General Setting. Here, you have the option of changing the language. Next is the Intel MPI library, which must be installed and registered to use the Intel MPI. The next part is Setup options, where you can place all the Simufact welding shortcuts. Next one is Simufact welding. Its main role is to define the proper directories. We'll skip these items and click on the display section where you can choose how the information is displayed. This part is the results, where it lets you organize the color legends. Other parts are overview and user-defined results, so we're not going in depth on them. Then we have units, as Simufact Welding is able to handle different units. There are four standard unit types and there is one customizable item. We have the International System of Units, SI System, the SI Millimeter Unit System, the Imperial Unit System, the United States Customary System, and the User Defined Unit System. On the top right hand side, you have the option to deactivate or keep the units on. Now we'll look at the catalog geometry. When you right click on it, you'll see you have the option to import geometries, library geometries, and export all geometries. The remaining two options are for sorting and cleaning the imported geometries. Click on materials to create new or import existing materials. On a new material section, you can define your material, which will cover it in the following weeks. Within the temperature part, you can change the temperature value, for example, to centigrade. Then click on OK to apply. This is trajectories as we use it to define the weld path. Left click on it and choose a new weld line. Click on the green add button and a new row will be added. You can define the coordinates of the weld path here. For welding parameters, you can define the type of heat source and velocity. Now move back to the welding process main section and choose a new resistance spot welding parameter. Click on electrical parameters. As you can see, you can change the clamp force and electrical current info here. Next, we'll have stress relief and set, which their definitions depend on the model, so we'll skip them for now. So, in this video, we went over a few options of the software, but in the next one, we'll solve some examples to have a better understanding of it. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck. This video was made by Amin Ganjabi. To find his contact information and updated resume, please visit our website at hyperlyceum.com. Amin is an expert in Simufact, Caesar, PDMS, and some other engineering software. To plan an online session and discuss industrial and academic projects, please use the provided email address under Amin's profile. The cost of projects vary depending on the complexity of the work and can be discussed in advance. We are looking forward to working